What is up, you guys? It is your boy Jalen, and this motherfucker tries talking to me again. We gon' have on site. And hey, Raven. Guys. Hey guys, welcome back. Welcome back to the channel. Today we are reacting to what would happen if a super volcano erupted. Original video will be in a link. Uh, original link to the video will be in the description down below. Make sure that if you want to stay up to date with the latest and greatest content, you hit that notification bell and subscribe. Make sure that you hit the like button. It's a very great indicator of how well we're doing on this channel. Now we're doing our job perfectly for you. And with the last thing on the list, you want to go down to that comment section and type in right. what do you want to see from us? It is right there. It's right there. It's the easiest thing you can do. But it's your boy, Raven. It's your boy, Raven. It's your girl, Jalen. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Shut up. You bro. shut up. Shut up, bro. You just be talking. Always. I ain't even gonna lie. You just be talking. The Earth is a gigantic yeah. ball of semi molten rock with a heart of iron as hot as the surface of the sun. Titanic amounts of heat left over from its birth and the radioactive decay of trillions of tons of radioactive elements find no escape but up. Currents of rock spanning thousands of kilometers carry this energy to the surface. Earth's crust is the only thing in their way. It feels solid to us, but it's only a fragile barrier, an apple skin around a flaming behemoth. True apocalypses can break through and unleash just want to say i love the animations it's very colorful very colorful and, and you can really get lost in it so i really I did for a second <laughs> i i love it it's absolutely amazing eruptions tens of times more powerful than all of our nuclear weapons combined subjecting the climate to centuries worth of change in a single year while drowning continents in toxic ash and gases wow. super volcanoes how big can they get and Will they put an end to humanity? That's this is so, so cool. That's so crazy wow. to think that a, a volcano could just possibly put an end to humanity. Like, just like we that. would be the next dinosaurs. And no one would know. For the most part. Volcanoes. There are many types of volcanoes, from towering mountains to lava domes. But they have two main sources. The first is at the boundaries between tectonic oh, plates, the pieces of the crust that oh. cover the earth like a giant jigsaw puzzle. No, not, that's there are seven stuff. major tectonic yeah. plates and dozens of smaller ones, drifting against each other at up to 15 centimeters per year. This sounds slow, but on geological timescales, it is a titanic struggle over who gets to stay on the surface. Mm. The winning plate crumples into a new mountain range, while the loser is shoved underneath into an ocean of hot rock at hmm. 1,300 degrees Celsius, the asthenosphere. The wow. temperature here is enough to melt rock into a liquid, but the insane pressures of all that mass keep it a superheated solid. Tectonic plates are usually in contact with water for thousands of years and absorb some of it. When they're submerged into the hot underworld, this water triggers chemical transformations that allow tiny portions to melt into magma. Hmm. Liquid magma is less dense than solid rock, so it rises to the surface in furious mm. bubbles that accumulate in sponge-like reservoirs right under the crust. Wow. If enough magma accumulates, it becomes powerful enough to pierce through the crust, hey. which we experience as volcanoes. Wow. This happens under the winning plate, like a revenge attack by the loser before it's erased forever. The second main source of volcanoes are thought to be mantle plumes. These are columns of abnormally so hot cool. rock that rise all the way from if, the planet's core. If this is how I would have learned science in school. I was just thinking. Yo. Yeah. Oh my god. I would gosh. have paid attention and it would make sense. Because now it's like, so when a volcano happens. It pierces know. through. That's why it's formed. So mount the. Well, so that's like. Helens or like Everest. Running into each other. Yep. Yep. Everest literally was underwater. What? No, just think about it. Everest was underwater. Okay. And then it shot up. Wow. Or the however Earth it started. Maybe it wasn't. It was formed. And then it shot up. Possibly. I could the be wrong. Earth is a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing and an ugly thing at the same oh, time. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's wild. This is amazing. I'll have to do my research on the Mount Everest stuff, but. Or mental boundary to the surface. Much less is known about them, but in a way, 
It's as if the Earth's mantle has weather patterns and mantle plumes are a little like hot air, rising to form storm clouds. Storms hundreds of millions of years old, made of rocks circulating at a rate of a few millimeters per month. They don't care about the motion of tectonic plates, so they can break the crust to create volcanoes in the middle of nowhere that stubbornly stay active as the crust shifts around them. The volcanic boom meter. Scientists love to put big booms on a scale and came up with a logarithmic scale that measures the volume ejected oh. during an eruption. The Volcanic <gasps> Explosivity Index, or VEI. Simply oh put, my it starts gosh. really small and gets very big very quickly. A VEI-2 eruption would fill 400 full Olympic swimming pools with lava. We have around 10 of these per year. At <laughs> VEI-3, we already see devastating effects, like the eruption of the Semeru volcano in 2021 that destroyed thousands of homes in Indonesia. Why did and I not VEI hear about that? VEI-5, we see catastrophic... I Why didn't did even I know. not hear about that? I don't know. I didn't the hear about that. Y'all are limiting yourself on what is shown. This is stuff that we need to know. I sound like an activist, or whatever you want to call it, but it's like, that's messed You're up. You're limiting yourself by not doing the research. That too. It goes both ways, but yes, that's on me. I'm playing. You can't search something you don't know. Cubic kilometers of debris, equivalent to an entire lake of molten rock blasted this into the air. So, like, wow. like the 2022 Honga Tonga Honga Hapai eruption that sent a shockwave around the globe many times and created ocean-wide tsunamis. Wow. At a VEI of six, an eruption can change the world. In 1883, the Indonesian island volcano Krakatoa erupted nearly continuously over the course of five months. One of those eruptions blew it apart, producing the loudest sound recorded in history. Ten trillion times louder than a rocket taking off heard halfway around the world. 30 meter high tsunamis swept away nearby populations and so much gas and ash were released the global temperatures cooled by nearly 0.5 degrees Celsius. Red, dusty sunsets followed for many years. Oh At VEI-7, we get super colossal eruptions, millennium-defining events that human civilization has only encountered a handful of times. Mount Tambora was a 4,300-meter-high mountain until it exploded in 1815 and released 400 times more energy than the Tsar Bomber. 140 billion tons of ash and dust were shot halfway to space before smothering the world's skies, turning them a sickly yellow. There was no summer the following year, crops died, and over a hundred thousand people perished. Herschel Walker facing devastating abuse this accusations from his own son. That's the scary part about it, and that's why I kind of stay away from it. I'm like, let me not think about this. Running from his violence. Six moves in six that's months. Sad. Running from Herschel Walker's violence. That's Before you renew Amazon Prime, yes, watch this. Oh, yeah, I'm not watching it. I I'm love sorry. Amazon Prime. Free two days shipping here. Yeah, this is the that. dreadful potential of volcanic eruptions, with famines across the other side of the world and even centuries long cold periods being attributed to them. Okay, but what's a supervolcano? The term supervolcano mm. is a media invention and not a scientific term. The main issue with them is that not every eruption from a supervolcano is a super eruption. What makes supervolcanoes special is that they've been waiting to erupt for hundreds of thousands of years. Pressure builds up in colossal magma reservoirs several kilometers deep until it becomes strong enough to lift the rock above it by several meters. Rocks crack under the pressure until they finally give way and build That's it. how it does it. Okay, like so Everest was always there. Mm -hmm. It was, this is what it was. Then the magma was just strong enough to penetrate through the hill. Got it. All right, I see. But was it, it slow? Or was it, it was probably fast? slow. It was probably slow. Okay. It was probably slow. I got. Uh, there's probably a video or something. I know that's not gas and ash blast out at supersonic speed. An insane explosion of at least a thousand cubic kilometers that impacts every corner of the globe. And yet, that is only a small portion of the magma reservoir. Super eruptions are like a boiling pot of water popping its lid off and spilling a bit off the top. Afterwards, the ground collapses into the void left behind, forming a hole called a caldera. Under this caldera, pressure starts building again until the volcano gathers enough energy for another super eruption. But this could take hundreds of thousands of years. It's estimated that one of the few volcanoes capable of super eruptions on Earth could cause a catastrophic eruption every 17,000 years on average. 
That would make them far more frequent than comparable asteroid impacts. The most recent super eruption is the Oranui eruption 26,500 years ago in New Zealand. With the force of dozens of billions of tons of TNT, a Mount Everest-sized pile of explosives, a huge portion of the landscape was scooped out and thrown into the atmosphere. It left behind a caldera spanning 20 kilometers, and it caused the entire southern hemisphere to undergo a period of abrupt cooling. Oh. Though among super eruptions, it's a mere firework. The Lake Toba eruption of 74,000 years ago was a much more significant turning point in history. Oh. It released a gargantuan 5,300 cubic kilometers of material, enough to blanket parts of South Asia in 15 centimeters of ash and trigger a rapid 4 degrees Celsius drop in global temperatures. It's possible that the volcanic winter lasted 10 years, followed by worldwide droughts for centuries. Earth's climate might have not recovered for a thousand years. Mm. The largest wow. volcanic events we know of were not really huge explosions, but floods of millions of cubic kilometers of lava. The grand finale were the Siberian traps around 250 million years ago, a continuous release of lava for two million years. They raised the ocean temperatures to over 40 degrees Celsius, which caused the Permian-Triassic extinction, killing over 90% of all species. Wow. Earth's surface needed 9 million years to recover. These sorts of eruptions don't change the climate, they are the climate. But thankfully, we haven't seen... How do you feel about this so far? Sorry. It's just, just crazy how ask. certain things could, like, just cause a chain reaction to change everything. Like, all of this happened. Mm-hmm. On this planet. Yeah. There's the still. World, I'm gonna get water. Yeah. The world amazes me. There's still volcanoes that happen, but you know, not at the frequency of this. It's not as detrimental as it was back then. Mm -hmm. so. Anything even remotely close to that scale in many millions of years. So, should you be scared of super volcanoes? Definitely not. They've been used to frighten many cool. people and are overhyped as an unavoidable apocalypse. <laughs> the most famous one, Yellowstone, will erupt again, but they will be relatively small eruptions. Natural disasters for sure, but not enough to devastate the US or come close to ending humanity. Hmm. The chance of a VEI 8 <laughs> eruption in the next few hundred years is less than 2%, and okay. more importantly, it wouldn't come as a sudden surprise. However, less powerful but more frequent eruptions can also do serious damage to our civilizations and are in many ways a much greater concern. So we must watch for slow changes in magma reservoirs like ground swelling and temperature increases to get an early warning that can save the lives of people living the closest to a volcano. And there's time to develop solutions that can remove sulfur and ash from the stratosphere to eliminate the root cause of the climate disruption we've seen oh, wow. from previous eruptions. Who knows, maybe we'll even be able to turn this force of destruction into an agent for good by exploiting the geothermal energy held in their giant magma reservoirs. Huh. We've done this work you for so many right other disasters, it. and we are already doing things we could only have dreamed about decades ago, like sending a probe to perform our first asteroid redirection test. With determination, humanity really can solve anything. Hmm. We are the smartest this things to be on this planet. Click on activate now, add ads killer to your brain. Like there's still so, so much So while deep know. below us an angry hell is churning and waiting for its moment, <laughs> you can sleep well tonight. Okay, so we're in the clear, we're good. Yeah. Learning how we can get ahead of catastrophes like climate change and super volcanoes is interesting, but can also be challenging. Maybe you still feel like you don't really understand how most of the science behind it works. And on your own, it seems too hard to dig deeper. Like to solve this, yeah. we've collaborated with our friends from Brilliant to create a series of lessons to build your understanding of fundamental science. By exploring fascinating right. insights from our most... So the rest of it is just an ad for a whole minute. Um, how did you feel? I feel like... I love, oh, like, oh, shit. not that I'm... I love science i was bad at science but i like learning about it so i right. like the geographical changes and space and all that type of stuff right. and learning about the past so the fact that 
it's a possibility and that there's like so time is endless it's just gonna keep going so the fact they said it probably won't happen for a seventeen thousand years mm-hmm. I won't even be known to nobody. Neither will you. No. But None of, no, no, one, no, 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 no one now will exist 17, obviously. Yeah. But that was very interesting, very informational. I do like science. The colors threw me off because I was like, like it just felt so animated. I yeah. love colors. I'm a very bright, colorful person. Mm. So it was very aesthetically pleasing to watch. It was. But I give this on informational shit, I give this like a 10. A I give 10. it a 10. Solid 10. I give it a 10. That was really good. It, it also put to rest about being scared about super volcanoes because I know a lot of teachers in high school, for me at least, were up talking it and, you know, kind of getting everyone scared a little bit. Um, but I guess it's just what happens when that's your own belief. And you kind of don't know too much on the topic, even though you're a teacher. Some teachers do not know a lot on the topic that they're teaching. Let's just be honest. Um, but yeah, no need to be scared. No need to be frightened. We're all going to we'll be, be good. okay. But to you guys, you should be frightened because if you don't like this video, if you don't subscribe and hit that notification bell to stay up to date with the latest and greatest content and go down to the comment section and let us know what you want to see next, it's going to be detrimental because how are you ever going to get videos from us? Mm. How are you ever going to stay up to date yeah. with the updates? Yeah. Come on, you got to think, no? You got to think. The original cool. video will be in the description, description down below. <laughs> and that's it, guys. So, yeah, that was really solid. That was good. That was really good. I think we need to do more uh, nature. Nature stuff like that? Nature stuff. Realistic yeah. stuff. Awesome. We definitely could. We'll do a little bit of everything. Hell yeah. Bye, guys. See you in See the next ya. one. Deuces.